Welcome back. Now we're going to review how to input your personal information. First, you're going to need to go to the website and log in as yourself. Now that you've logged in, you see your welcome page. So your landing page has different tabs at the top. Right now I'm on the home page. Later, we're going to go to about me, then academic history, my transfer plan, and eventually we'll sign out. On this page, I want to call your attention to the center left. Um, you see that it's welcome me back as Barbara and different tags that I've worked on in the past have been recorded here with this account. On the right hand side, you can see the different tabs on the UC tag application. So we're going to go over personal information, demographic information, and so on. So we're going to go through all these tabs. Now I'd like to call your attention to the right hand side of the screen where it says key filing dates and deadlines. You can see that the transfer admissions guarantee tag filing date is listed for fall 2022. The filing period is September 1st through the 30th, 2021. Right under that, you see the transfer admissions filing period. So you can submit your application to the UC for fall 2021 between November 1st and the 30th. If you're having any technical problems with the UC tag application, make sure to contact them directly by clicking here. Now let's look at the left hand side of the screen. You see that there's a UC application update. So this update is referencing the UC application, not the tag. For the UC application, you're going to have to predict what classes you're taking in the spring and also report your current classes as in progress. You'll be able to update that information in January. So you'll be able to post the grades that you got in the fall as well as update your spring schedule at that time. So that's what that paragraph is referencing. There's additional information for UC Berkeley transfer applicants. So go ahead and read that if you're applying to UC Berkeley. There's a transcript submission reminder. So just as a reminder, if you have any AP or IB credit, the UC is, is going to want a copy of that transcript. In order to get a copy, you're gonna to have to contact College Board. This can be a lengthy process if you've been out of school for a few years. So just know that all transcripts, including these test scores are due by July 15th. So make sure that you give yourself ample time to request that information for the UC so you don't miss the deadline. There's also information about early decision withdrawing the application and the application verification process as well as FAFSA and Cal Grant filing periods. When you're ready, you're going to click on personal information. In the personal information section, it's just going to be information about you. What's your first name, middle name, and last name? Again, we're reporting our full legal name. Then if you have a preferred name, you're going to go ahead and write that down. If you have a legal change of name, like maybe you didn't like your first name or you got married and now you have a different last name, you would write down the name that you had on previous legal records. Maybe you don't have a name change. Then you report your date of birth. This is your contact information. Make sure it's correct. Go ahead and put your street number, so your address, the city that you live in, the state, and your zip code. Next, make sure you type in your email address. Actually, it should pre-populate from when you created the account, but if it's different, you can make changes here. Go ahead and give your primary telephone number, the first number you want someone to reach you at, and then a secondary number in case they can't reach you at the first number, what's another number you can be reached at? Down at the bottom, don't forget to give your student ID number. When you're ready, press save and move on to the next page.